Hey guys, on this episode of Fish Addictions TV, we're headed up to Green Bay, Wisconsin to fish the Bay of Green Bay. Now, we're fishing with good buddies, Tony Aloya, Troy Peterson, and a buddy of mine that I've met throughout my fishing career through fishing with vets and, and various organizations, Troy Kraus. Now, Troy's a guide up here, and he's gonna help us get on some big whitefish. A few years ago, we did a whitefish episode, and you guys have asked us to come back because you enjoyed it, so we're back. Addiction, the fact or condition of being addicted to a particular substance, thing, or activity. An addiction is not desirable. It is something that overtakes your life. What happens when an addiction cannot be stopped? An addiction is stronger than any one drug with only one cure. The cure is not rehab. It is not medication. It is not a counselor. The only cure for us is the water beneath our feet. The rod in our hands, the anticipation of that next big bite, and the camaraderie we all share. This is Fish Addictions TV. Fish Addictions TV is brought to you by Eskimo Ice Fishing Gear and the rest of our fine sponsors. You know, several years ago when we started Fish Addictions TV, we had the pleasure of getting up on the bay with Troy. And several years later, people are still talking about it and talking about how much fun we had and how much fun it looked fishing those white fish. So of course, we jumped on the opportunity to get back up here, get on Green Bay, and put a bunch of white fish topside. Fish addiction guys come to town, you know the weather is going to be absolutely brutal. Whether it be raining, snow, wind, uh, every time these guys have come to uh, Wisconsin and fished with me, uh, we've had to deal with some of the most extreme conditions. But you know what? That's what makes a trip fun, uh, it makes it interesting, and uh, you, you turn it into an adventure. It was really fun getting out on Green Bay for some whitefish. It's always awesome to fish with Mike and Troy, and I love all the action that you get with these whitefish, especially when you're fishing them on camera. There's a goblin on it. So it was really fun using the cameras. We got to the spot, we were in the shacks, we got set up, and as soon as we dropped the cameras down, there were fish on the screen. That first fish that shows up, your heart starts racing just a little bit. There we go. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> you know, there's something about being able to watch these fish just absolutely attack a bait. Now, as we learned last time we were here, there's a certain way a lot of guys fish these. And what I did is I caught this fish on the trailer hook. Basically what that is, what we're doing, about 18 inches above our main bait, we put a, a trailer hook, a slider is what they call it. So it's a it's a smaller tungsten or a lead jig that's a that's a horizontal, you know, presence 
just so that jig sits right, that hook sits right. And a lot of times these whitefish will come up, kind of look at those at your spoon and just attack that that slider bait that you have above them. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we can definitely utilize the camera more often, but we're so used to using our flashers and our markums that it's just second nature for us to grab that and forget the camera at home. Well, we brought the Recon 5 and we're utilizing it with Green Bay. The water is so clear that it just uh, <laughs> it makes sense. And it's an absolute thrill to see those fish grab your hook and that reaction that you get that way. We're gonna get this guy back. You would watch those fish swarm around on the bottom around your jig. It looked like a school of sharks coming in. And then when they hit, nothing felt better than watching those fish just slide up the camera. That was like a real nice one. One thing that's fun about these white fish is they really fight pretty hard. They're tasty too. Oh yeah. They're also hard to grab. When you come up to Green Bay or anywhere and you're chasing these nice white fish, um, there's three different types of baits that I like to use. Number one is a gold spoon. Second, a gold spoon. Or if you don't have one of those, bring a gold spoon. It works. Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. At Glacier, our goal is to build only the highest quality ice fishing shelters, constructed of premium materials that will provide lasting value and years of trouble-free service. See for yourself how our attention to detail and never-ending commitment to product improvement sets a Glacier Ice House apart from the competition and makes a Glacier Ice House the ultimate way to play. For more information, visit GlacierIceHouse.com. Manitoba, Canada's heart beats. Guys, <laughs> I'm not joking. Every single time we visit Wisconsin, we love this place, the variety of fish, the different people we get to fish with, but Mother Nature hates us in Wisconsin. Now on this trip, we uh, utilized the grizzlies, and we haven't been in the shacks that often this year, and 
and one of the reasons the Grizzly was used is because of the weather. Uh, the weather was blowing 25, 35 miles an hour after just a fresh snowfall a day or two before that. And to get inside the Grizzly, to be able to kind of stage that camera right where you were able to, you know, just watch it, fish, do everything you needed to do, the Grizzly just worked out perfect. Another nice one. You know, guys, Green Bay is such a diverse fishery. Uh, whether it be summer, winter, fall, I mean, this fishery has got to be one of the top in the country uh, for just a diversity of fish. You can catch browns out here, you can catch whitefish, walleyes, trophy muskie. Uh, you know, one of the best smallie fisheries in the world is right here up in Sturgeon Bay. And if you've never been up here, it's definitely worth the trip to come up and try. Um, you know, there's plenty of guides. Uh, for anywhere from you know, Washington Island all the way down through the peninsula. Uh, a lot of guys today were out with Troy Krause from Walleye Mafia and uh, he runs uh, some permanent shacks out here for, uh, for whitefish in the wintertime and also you know, helps uh, a lot of us and fishes with a bunch of us in the summertime too, uh, guiding for the walleyes and stuff. So plenty of places to come and fish, uh, plenty of uh, different guides and opportunities to get out. Uh, definitely worth, worth the trip and I recommend it to everybody. You know, it seemed like the key to our success was, for one, keeping the bait down there, for two, being really super aggressive. And even when the fish came up to your bait, to not stop that cadence. If you stopped at all, it would just almost spook it away. So in this instance, we had to keep that bait moving, keep pounding that bait, and when they wanted it, they didn't hesitate. Fish on! <laughs> that is so fun. It is exhilarating to be able to watch the camera, see those fish just gills flare open, and you know they're on. <laughs> they are slimy, guys. Guys, okay, so here's the setup. White fishing. This is what we're told and this is what's working for us. First, I'm running six pound fluorocarbon with a spoon, a nice flashy spoon on the bottom up to a slider hook. Now what this slider hook does is, is allows, you know, it slides up and down above a swivel. And then about 18 inches below that is my, is my spoon. As you can see here, get this guy here. You can see here, so there's the spoon, and about 18 inches down, we've got that. It's a slider hook. Now it's a, it's a horizontal hook, so it lays out, so you're able to hook, and a lot of times you're gonna hook these fish on those. Now, what the other part I'd use is a medium to a medium light rod. Uh, I chose a medium just because where we're fishing here on Green Bay, there is a chance to catch a big walleye or a walleye in general, and six pound fluorocarbon to be able to handle a walleye. Now I chose a spinning reel just to get those fish up a little quicker, uh, get back down there, because a lot of times these white fish run in school, so we get them up and get back down, get another one. They are slimy, but they are fun, and uh, fishing them with the camera is unreal. Like I said, they come up to it real slow, and all of a sudden their gills just flare out, and you know when that flares out, that uh, game on. Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. Out here, speed is everything. The new Eskimo rocket runs fast, spins fast, cuts fast. Engineered from the ground up with an engine designed to run at optimal RPMs, giving you its fullest potential within its power band. The bulletproof all-metal transmission is geared to spin fast. The precision-based cutting head effortlessly cuts fast. Nobody sells more powered ice augers than Eskimo. Get assurance. Get reliability. Get Eskimo. No matter what you're chasing on the ice this winter, Acme Tackle has you covered. From the innovative Hyperglide and Hyper Rattle series to legendary Castmaster, Rattle Master, and Sidewinder Spoons, or the all-new professional gray tungsten series, Acme Tackle has what you need. Visit acmetackle.com to check out our full product assortment.
Acme Tackle rattles louder, glides further, and glows brighter. Get hooked up with Acme Tackle. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters is the number one ice fishing headquarters. We have everything you need from today's firearms to the latest fishing electronics and the hottest footwear and outdoor apparel. We only carry the best brands at the best prices. Have a question? No problem. We have the most knowledgeable team in the business ready to answer your call personally seven days a week. Whether you're visiting us in Walker, Minnesota or touching your screen with our state-of-the-art distribution center, we can get you gear when you need it fast. Cast or blast? Reeds has the best service, best advice, and best price guaranteed. Team Fishing. Make your own luck. So we just got set up out here. I'm in the Grizzly. In fact, Troy's over here in the Grizzly and Mike's across the way in the Grizzly. We just sort of have a circle uh, etched out. And we're kind of holding the fish, they're kind of bouncing between us and it's fun. We're sitting watching them on the camera and uh, getting some pretty good action so far. We just seen that one come in and just smoke it. And he was, what was funny is he was hitting that jig like four or five different times. Um, they're not the most intelligent fish, but uh, watching it on that Markham Recon uh, was super cool. You know, the beauty part about Green Bay is the water's gin clear and you can see a long ways away and it makes it really really fun especially for the kids um, you know even myself I'd rather watch them bite on the camera than than try and chase them with a flasher but uh, a lot of fun she absolutely smoked it you know these fish have gotten really aggressive uh, we just made a move we're actually sitting in about 20 21 feet of water and uh, all around us it's 32 to 35 feet and we have just nice structure here, rocks on the bottom and we're seeing plenty of fish coming in and they got the right attitude. These fish can be somewhat hard to hold. They're, they're slimy uh, and they do wiggle a lot, but they're delicious and it's worth the, uh, worth the battle and it's a lot of fun. You know, I want to give a special thanks to Troy Kraus. You know, he is out there fishing quite often. Periodically throughout the day, he was popping in and out, checking on us, making sure that everything was going good. Hey buddy, how's it going? Good. Getting some fish? A few. Uh, what? I'm getting a lot of fish to kind of come in, semi-commit, and then kind of leave. What? Uh, what's the tip for that? Um, might want to try getting maybe a little more aggressive with it. Um, see if we can get them to follow it up a little bit. Seems like the current's changed on us here real quick too. Okay, yeah, it'll change one way to the other. Um, doesn't really seem to affect the fishing a lot. It's um, just kind of the way it goes. It goes one way for a while during the day, then it stops and goes the other way. Um, but it seems like we catch more fish when there is current. It's been pretty consistent all day, so it's been good fishing. Yeah, looks like you got a couple of fish laying there. Keep a few for the smoker. Yeah, you got to keep some to <laughs> eat, right? You can't throw them all back. Um. One thing I would like everybody to know is that Troy is a guide here on Green Bay and, and he was nice enough to give him a call and Troy and I know each other from doing a few veterans events throughout the years open water fishing yep. and you always did tell me anytime you wanted to come Green Bay way you'll help us out. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's what he did you know he helped us out point us in the right direction he's out here moving houses uh, so that is one thing Troy has nice warm houses that people can fish in. Yep. And uh, 
how do they go about doing that? Um, just give me a call, hit me up on my website or uh, Facebook, Walleye Mafia LLC, um, and give me a call, 920-664-9103. Um, I can answer any questions you have, book a trip, um, help you out with some, if you got any questions about Green Bay. That's awesome. So, summertime you do boat trips? Yep. Uh, springtime Fox River? Fox, all, all the rivers, um, okay. all the way up to uh, Marinette, and then also Door County as well. Door County night bite is my favorite. Really? My favorite, yeah. And then wintertime, mostly whitefish? Yeah, sad to say. Uh, we do get some walleye, but the, the main staple on Green Bay is whitefish. Um, there's there's so many of them. You can catch them all the way from the dam down into Pier, all the way up to, I don't even know how far up in Door County, as far as you can go. I don't know how many we've caught today, guys, but it's been pretty consistent all day long. And to be honest, there's not a lot of people out here and around us. We're nope. just out here having having the water to ourselves out here. And yeah. I really appreciate it. Really want to say thank you. And, and guys, if you want to get on a whitefish bite like we've been experiencing today, make sure to give Troy a call. He'd be more than happy to put you out here. He's got hard-sided houses. He, you'll bring people from shore out to the houses and back. Yep. Uh, take out anything you guys need. So your next adventure to Green Bay, white fishing, give this guy a call. Hey guys, Anthony with Fish Addictions TV and the Ion Pro staff. We all know that the Ion is one of the best augers in the market for using in your hard house because there's no exhaust and it has reverse to flush your holes out. But there's also some great benefits to using this auger year round. It's lightweight, compact, and it cuts smooth. I like this auger because I don't get the fatigue from using a gas auger that I would with an Ion. It cuts so smooth and there's no torque. So I'm able to drill more holes and have more success on the ice and not be tired at the end of the day. So that's why you should choose Ion Ice Augers. Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. He wants it so bad. He's circling. They're like sharks down there. Here he comes. Come on. You know, being from the Minnesota, North Dakota area, walleye is king. But to us, smoked whitefish is candy. <laughs> You're gonna hear it time and time again. It is an absolute blast catching these fish on the camera. There we go. Oh, it's a good one. It's a big one. Let's grab That is a beautiful whitefish. Now, here's the trick if you ever come and fish whitefish. So, one trick that we're told by the locals is if you're going to eat these, they're awesome smoked but do not freeze them. Keep them warm, keep them in a bucket. Don't freeze them. We got a bunch more down there. We're getting back down there. Smoke them, they're great. We're going back. He came up and just smacked it. Having the Fish Addictions crew come up and fish Green Bay with me again, uh, was an absolute blast. We survived, you know, Mother Nature's fury, uh, 35, 40 mile an hour winds, tons of snow, and uh, really just the most extreme conditions you can ever imagine to fish in. Uh, but we had a lot of fun. Uh, you know, absolute beautiful scenery. The sunset was incredible. Uh, and you know.
know, to get these guys some actual whitefish smoke for them to try it, uh, I think it's going to change their mind on uh, how good of a fish this actually is. And maybe we can get them back one more time to come up and uh, catch some more of these uh, whitefish. Woo! We are hooked up. You know, the beauty part of coming out to Green Bay is you can target these whitefish, but you never know what you're going to get. Um, you're going to get some big perch, some whitefish. Yep, obviously uh, some, some walleyes mixed in. Um, you know, when you're sitting here looking on the camera, you, ever, you see some pike and some musky. But uh, today we are concentrating on these whitefish here. And we're going to send a bunch of them to the smoker and we're going to let these guys test them out here and see how good they actually are to eat. So we're going to keep this guy. After a long day of white fishing, we had a little bit of time, so we're out here pan fishing for a half a day. And uh, Bluegill brought, brought some of his already smoked white fish since we talked about it so much throughout the episode. So cheers, boys. Cheers. cheers. You're not supposed to talk with your mouth full, but this is good. It's delicious. Hey, do you guys know where Mike is? Ha, 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 ha.